Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming here with another episode of Fable 2. Alright, when we left off, we were, uh, well, we were having me adjust my headset, because of course I need to adjust it every time I record. <laughs> and, uh, we were trying to retrieve Lady Grey's head from a tomb in Fairfax Gardens, as it says on the top there, because we retrieved her upper body not that long ago, and it was gross. It's still gross. All of this entire quest is gross from top to bottom. And I want to get off this crazy train. The fuck was that? Huh. That was a thing. Huh. Is there a gargoyle somewhere in here? It's the feeling I'm getting. Just a feeling. Okay, well. There's Lady Grey's head, I guess. Yep. Dear God. That is gross. That is appalling. Good God. Not bad looking considering it's 500 years old. No, it's still bad looking. Gah. This entire quest is just... Wow. Multiple levels of fucking fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. On this spot, the witch spotters of Albion did bury the head of one Lady Grey, formerly mayor of Bowerstone, and certified enchantress and seductress. Oh, how those beautiful, glassy eyes stared at us as we condemned them to eternity in this hollowed, underground chamber that she had the temerity to name after herself. Because, of course she did. Unnerving clicking sounds echo all around us, and the sands seem to writhe with life. Dear Avo, I hope it's not Beatles. Probably beetles, isn't it? Oh, yep. Yep, it is. Luckily, those are easy enough to kill. They're also numerous as fuck, apparently. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay. Any more of them? Any more at all? No? Okay. I am fine with that then. Also, need to figure out where that fucking uh, gargoyle is so I can get rid of that fuck. more of these, of course. And they're big ones, too, but they're still easily killed. Jeez, they're fucking monstrous ones. Alrighty. Well, not hearing anymore, so I'm assuming... Assuming we're fine. Alright. Up. Oh. Of course. Okay, well. It's gonna be like this the whole time, isn't it? I'm just earning gold left and right because I'm shooting these fucks. And, ooh, there's treasure. In the form of a silver key. Alrighty. I'll take that. Beautiful. Alright. I am perfectly content with that. And away we go. Where are we going? 
Up and up and up, apparently. And... Here we are. Oh! It's just right back out. But I wanted to get that gargoyle. Oh man, I'm going to have to go out. Come back the other way, aren't I? Whoops. That was the wrong button. I was thinking of the wrong game. Oopsie doodle. <laughs> I don't even know what game I was thinking of. But it was a different game. Oh, hey. There we go. Treasure. Oh, nice. Good job, Doggo. What do we got? Children's health potion. Yeah, it's still, still something. Alrighty. Big spot. Okay. Too weather worn to read. Okay. I figure that's true for most of these. Ooh, 200 gold. All right. I'll take it. And we will head out the door and go back in the other way. Because there was a gargoyle. And I'm going to get it. I'm going to get that fucking thing. I'm going to shoot it. Perilous woke up with a cry of surprise. Insulting Scottish face. Insulting as in it's insulting me, thus I want to shoot it. Anyway. Scottish is just a descriptor. That, that's really all it is, because that's the accent it's using. All right. Hero, you got any health or potions? <laughs> you ain't got no skills. I just playing a day. Okay. Ah, oh, how did I not notice you? There we go. Now you're gone. I didn't want to go back down, game. Oh. Well, at least there's treasure while I'm down here. That at least is worthwhile. Hey, hey! Resurrection vial. Okay. Well, somewhat worthwhile then. That's fucking. God, there it is. Just trying to figure out where the fucking guideline was taking me. Alrighty. Head right back out again. At least this time I don't have to fight it my way out. That's kind of nice. Alright. Up we go. Up the stairs of woe, I guess we could call them. Whoop. And whoop. And here we are. And right back out to Fairfax Gardens. Ha <laughs> ha! Drink my coffee for a moment. Alright. I, I just want the end of this to be like, please re-kill me after we bring her back to life. Just like, please re-kill me. Because I... I shouldn't be alive she's like i am quite speechless in your presence okay well that's nice to know she, she just wants to pay for her uh things that she's done while she was alive and she thinks being dead was the best way to do it and then i can just be done with this whole weird fucking quest that i didn't want to do in the first place because it got creepier and creepier as time went on all right let's go back to the fucking mansion And the quest said, love hurts. I didn't think this would be what it meant. Because it's gross. I'm down in the basement. Everything's ready. Aww. Ew. Okay, you're down in the basement here. Okay. Oh, jeez. God, do I have to... Oh, gods. This oh, is morbid. At last, 
I never thought this day would come. My sweet lady. Oh, he's already attached the head. You okay. must think I'm some sort of pervert. A real creep. I've thought that from the beginning. But, well, I've been in love with Lady Grey for so many years. Ever since I found a picture of her. A picture? She's been the one woman I could talk to. The one woman who wouldn't turn away from me in disgust. Because she wasn't really there. And now you're wondering how such an amazing creature could ever love someone like me. I'm wondering what's wrong with you. You see, Mainly. this procedure, it's not just about reanimating dead tissue. It's also a love spell. Oh, oh We'll be no. so happy. I'll take care of her forever. Just like she deserves. How about let's not? Stand back. It's time! Okay, I'm gonna stand over here now. And, uh... I'm, uh, gonna have my hand on the, uh... On my gun, if you don't mind. What the fuck? What? Okay. She's alive. Yeah, oh, she is. My sweet lady. How do you feel? You... You brought me back. You are magnificent. Well, you know, actually... Oh, he's... It was... It he's was being me ignored who, entirely. I have been asleep so long. But now I am ready to live again. And she... to love for the first time. You are so perfect. She... Oh no! The love spell makes her fall in love with the first person she... You've got to go. Now! Um. I thought my heart had died long before I did. But it beats now for you. Come on, you have to leave. Please! She and I are meant for each other. I know it! I... There's something um. about your eyes. They're so beautiful. Beautiful, so captivating. I uh. You can get any number of women to fall in love with you, but me, this is my one chance of happiness. Please go. Uh, you're. Let's buy a you're, house together. You're not wrong. Let's get married. I'm just gonna go over here. Oh, time is running out. If you don't leave now, I'll lose her forever. Please don't do this to me. Okay. So much. Oh, I hadn't noticed you before. Little man. Okay. Alright. Okay, my headset cut out. Give it a second. Give it a second to pop back. That's a little annoying. I know it has power in it. I was charging it all night. Alright, well. <laughs> Give me a moment. All right, I'm back. Okay. My sweet lady, I promise to take care of you always. This is still really creepy. You aided the course of true, if slightly unorthodox, love, and the happy couple has eloped. Look like the mansion is up for sale now! Yay! Woo! I'm, uh, I'm not sure if I want to buy it. <laughs> I'm not really sure I want to buy it. Well, there's a rod of power, I guess. Okay, a rod of life, whatever the fuck it's called. I am... Um... Cemetery Mansion, what? Is a new quest available? Huh. Investigate the gravekeeper's cave in the cemetery. So there's more I have to do here? So I have to buy it. Alright. Health bonus and five minutes of fame. Though Raverick's... Raver? 
Rather extravagant for its purpose, this has traditionally been the home of the Bowerstone Gravekeeper, a job passed down from fathers to sons. It was first built by a rather unusual property magnate who believed rich nobles would fight over a haunted mansion, since spirits in the undead were often spotted walking in the cemetery. He was wrong. <laughs> well, <laughs> there's that at least. Okay. Let's buy it and rent it out. Once you buy it, you will not be able to sell it. Gravekeeper's key. Gravekeeper's note. Dear Occupier, I hope you find more happiness in this house than I did. It was far too large and empty for a lonely soul such as I, and yet I do have fond memories of the place. It was here that I discovered all my grandfather's secrets and continued his experiments. Was that what that was the whole time? Ew. Even when they touched upon matters perhaps best left alone, like what I just helped with. Helped. Oh, 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 ah. <laughs> I enclosed the key to my grandfather's scrapyard nearby, though there is little of value to be found. He made me promise I would never set foot in the crypt there, and I suggest you heed his warning, too. Who knows what failed experiments lurk inside? <laughs> Respectfully, Victor the Bowerstone Gravekeeper. I'm assuming he wrote this note before he ended up eloping. Because I ended up helping with that. Jeez. I mean, to be fair, I didn't want... I didn't want her falling for me. Because she, she pulled some shit while she was alive. I don't want any of that. Then there was... I mean, the whole thing that she used to be dead and now she's reanimated? That's a little fucked. Um, to be fair, the fact that she became looking like that after all of that, I mean, that's impressive. I'll admit. I wish I remembered what this button was so I could have gotten a closer look, but, I mean, it's still impressive. All right. Guess that uh, reanimation tech is a little more advanced than I thought. I thought it was she would still look like a fucking Zambambo corpsey do. Yeah, that's quality commentary, me. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's follow that fucking trail, huh? The glowing trail to wherever the fuck this shall lead me. Man, that guy looks so real. Okay. I, you ever just want to look up at the sky in the game just to see how real it looks sometimes? That's kind of what I was feeling. Alright. Away we go! The trail is not keeping up, so I have no idea if I'm going the right way or not. I was not. Okay, well, fuck me. This way. Cool. And here's a little junkyard area. I guess he was talking about. Hey, dig spot. Okay. Right here next to the scarecrow. Because that's a thing. Okay. And let's dig up. Hey, the barrel just disappeared. Nice. Fuck. I'm, I must have been just slightly off. That's annoying. There we go. That did it. Yeah. What do we got? Moonless Midnight Die. <laughs> Again. I already have that. Pauper Trousers. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that makes sense. All right. Here's where the key goes, I assume. Don't ignore me. You pink I'm pretty sure I could ignore you, but I'm not going to because I want to shoot every one of you insulting fucks. Not just because you're Scottish, but you're insulting. If anything, the Scottish part makes it the most hilarious part. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, banana pudding die. Alrighty then. Shelly Crypt. Are we talking like Mary Shelley here? Although that's not the right spelling, if that was the case. Or is it? I don't really remember. Considering we were already having a Frankenstein moment, I wouldn't be surprised if that's Do a reference. Do not continue down this hallowed path, mortal. Um. Okay. I guess I'll just turn around and go home then. Fuck no, I'm gonna fucking continue down this path. Fuck you. Is this openable? No, of course not. This is the uh, other way out. Of course it is. Alright. You are walking into your own tomb. Turn back while you can. My own tomb, he says. My own tomb, he says. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm more stronger than that. I am more strong. I don't fuck know where I was going with that. I already said strong. Um, <laughs> so I was like, strong. Fuck it, I don't know. I am half asleep. I'm going to end this episode here for right now. We have reached the time limit, and quite frankly, I am... I kind of need to process what just happened with the Gravekeeper and Lady Grey being a thing. Gross. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat playing games and... Helping the Gravekeeper find true love with the disgusting corpse of an evil woman who was a real bitch back in the first game for you.